it's me what up what up my peeps that's actually not how you do your intros gaya falta de respeto welcome back welcome back to life of daya <laughs> it's so lame let's try it again hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are filming a very exciting youtube video i don't think i've ever filmed this video i don't know if i have but i am today filming a what i want for christmas this year and it's not like an expectation of like this this and this and this is what i want for christmas and you better get it for me it's not like that it's something like me giving the people options <laughs> what they want to get me you know so i did every single year make a christmas list i like to help my husband out whenever he's gonna buy me stuff either for my birthday or for anniversary valentine's day christmas i always send him stuff <laughs> i send him screenshots or throughout the year i tell him oh i want this one day and he always writes it down or he's like send me a screenshot of that so i can buy it for you in the future and it's a thing that we've been doing for the past year or two three three years without that for to do i'm gonna go ahead and go over with you guys all the things that i would like to have either for christmas or for the future so these include main gifts, simple gifts, and stocking stuffers. We did not used to have stocking stuffers until like the first year we were we lived here. We did not have stocking stuffers. The year after, we were like, let's have stocking stuffers. And it was so cute and it's really, really cute to just put in there like candy, simple gifts, like, like a makeup brush, you know, like a cute mini palette lipstick stuff like that you know and every year i always prepare myself and just in case he needs help or anybody needs help with stocking stuffers as well and also feel free to go ahead and gather inspiration if you want these gifts too go ask your husband about it the first thing i actually put is the gift one of the gifts that i already got because this was something that my husband and i gathered for the past few months and we were like are we getting this this year and we thought about it since july and pulled the plunge on the end of october and his arrived first we wanted the same thing both of us his arrived first so i made it as a birthday gift and mine's was arriving more closer to christmas so i was like i will have mine as an early christmas gift <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna open this for Christmas. I really need this right now because mine has me tired. So we got ourselves the new iPhone. We both pulled a plunge. It definitely hurt our bank accounts, but it was very much needed. I've had my old iPhone. I, my, you guys know, I used to have the iPhone XS Max. I did hint it that I kind of wanted the new iPhone when I did my what's on my iPhone XS Max video which if you guys want it was on my iphone 13 let me know and i'll do one for you guys but i hinted that i wanted the new iphone 13 i didn't say which one i wanted so i did get the iphone 13 pro this is she tan bella tan emosha she looks so pretty i got it in silver i can go ahead and show you guys actually i can take the case off she has no screen protector that's my mission for next year up uh, next week i gotta get a screen protector but a part of me really wanted the silver one i did not know that this was gonna be matte i thought it would be glossy the silver but it's not unless i'm stupid and it has a plastic wrap i always thought i, I, kept, I was like going like this i was like i don't know they don't plastic wrap i really don't know i think they are all matte like for the iphone 13 pro this is not the pro max this is the iphone 13 pro but it does have the three camera effect i mainly did not want the iphone 13 which is the one that just has the two camera the two lenses i wanted this one because i'm a blogger i share my life with you guys and an instagram and i was like i really want to take my pictures to the next level that's why i got it but yeah that's one of my early christmas gifts expect to have this for the next five years let's continue with the gifts i just wanted for you guys to see if i was showing like if i was holding it if you guys are like you got your 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 main gift already didn't you <laughs> Just wanted to pull it out there and just get it over with and show you guys one of the gifts I got. I saw this really cute bag. I don't know how it's called. It's a really cute like crossbody type of bag. I don't know, but I like the I like how the purse looks. But damn, the price? I'm like $78 for this purse. I did a screenshot and I was like, if you want to get me that, <laughs> 
but i really don't think he's going to because he was like i'm not i the first time i told him that i wanted this purse he was like i'm not spending 70 dollars on a purse <laughs> Which is true, I wouldn't even spend $70. I prefer spending like, the most I would spend on a purse is probably 30 bucks. Just thought I would share it with you guys, just in case you guys like it. But I do in the future would like to have a purse like that. I thought it was so cute for like, whenever I was out and about, or in the parks, like in Disney or something, Bush Garden. I do see myself with this purse, cause I feel like it's perfect. I don't have to hold a whole bunch of stuff. The next thing I asked for Christmas, or the next thing I want for Christmas. I really want a new 2022 planner. Can you guys believe that we're already in 2022? I gotta start like pra practicing more for when the year comes and I'm like, yeah, it's 2022. January is something of 2022. Really gotta start because I, I I swear this year flew. It did not drove past us. It did not walk past us. It just flew, literally. Just but I was like, wow, I need a new planner. I am a someone that I like to have planner with me i am definitely a planner i like to write everything down and i like to do it when i'm at or I'm at my work for some reason at my work i i am able to jot everything down when i'm here i do not use my planner whatsoever but when i'm at my work i like to take it out and just write everything down i saw this one it's called my next 90 days i really want to try it out i this year bought two maybe three planners i don't know if you guys remember amanda ratchley i think that's her name she creates planners every single year and this year i don't know if she was doing them for chris for this for 2022 but that's a really good thing to like check oh she is for 2022 i'm curious to know if she added a new color her planner i think they're called doodle planner they're called yeah the 2022 doodle planner she added new colors <gasps> oh this yellow one is so cute is that available it is i really want to try this 90 day planner first and then eventually i will screenshot it and ask him you know maybe for my birthday because this says 90 days this is not gonna last for all of 2022 but she was expensive she was like i googled her and this specific one that i wanted and the one the doodle planner is 45 but it lasts all year i'm like 90 days for 30 dollars that that's expensive next one this was a gift that i told myself sorry I'm getting interrupted. This is a gift that I told myself I wanted from me to me. I wanted to get myself this gift. I have wanted this gift since last year of Christmas, but I passed for Christmas last year and I was like, I'm gonna get it next year. I don't think I'm gonna get it this year either. You guys will know in the next video why I'm not getting it. But I do also wanna say my mom, she left me some really, really cute like slippers that she had. I'm gonna actually get them because they're the cutest thing ever. They cost her like 20 bucks. Look at how cute these are. She brought these with her when she came to see me and I, I, I snatched them. I snagged them from her. Not that I was like, these are mine. No, but I used them um, when she was here. And before, like when she left, she hid them under my, my bed. And when we came back, like a day or two after they were gone and they went back to Puerto Rico, I was cleaning my house and I came across them under my bed and I cried. I bawled my eyes out. My parents left us gifts and messages everywhere around their house and i think that's why it took me like it broke my heart seeing them leave and go back to puerto rico my husband was so like nervous because of how i reacted from them leaving they like he was low-key about to text them and be like just come back please i don't want to keep her. i don't want to see her suffer like my husband did not let me alone for the past for two days three days straight like after they left i could not stop crying every single gift that i would find across the house i would bawl my eyes out i told myself i was like you cannot cry when they leave you gotta be strong literally devastated me so much and it broke my heart so much seeing them leave because of the fact that they traveled for the first time to the united states my mother has never hopped a plane and that woman, she faced her fears to come see me. It was too, like, she, we constantly, like, every time we FaceTime, we would always talk about it and we'd be like, oh, I miss you so much. And we would, like, talk about how much we miss each other. Like, my whole family, parents and my sister. And she always would say, I, 
am praying to God that I would face my fear and hop on a plane and go see you one day. And the fact that that happened, like that was the best vacation ever. My mother saw a side of us that she's never seen. And she saw us as a couple and she saw my husband, how, he, how we help each other, how he helps me and how he treats me. And after she left, she said, ooh, I don't want to cry. I was not prepared to cry. Sorry guys, <laughs> I don't want to cry. I don't want to wear my makeup. But she said, she texted me and she was like, I feel safer after I left from over there because I saw how he treats you and how happy you are with him. And like, I can literally call him like my own son. And I will always, always treat him like if he was, like if he is our son. And I told him that and his eyes, like he even felt like he felt it in his heart so yeah <laughs> that was the cutest thing ever and he literally cannot wait he's like i'm just ready for them to come back again it was the best time ever and i also saw him bonding with my family the way i've never seen him bond it was the cutest most precious moment and i'm never gonna forget it i really wanted these uggs i told myself i was gonna get them this year but then since i have these slippers i've been using them non-stop ever since my mom left them i'm like i'm never gonna stop using them they're so comfy and warm and they keep you so cozy like i use them every time i i think i'm gonna pass on the ugg boots once again maybe for next year we shall see the next one i have always wanted these Converse. I want. I've wanted the past few years, like past two years, I've been wanting to get splurge on really cute chunky Converse. But I've been debating if I don't know if they're gonna look good on me. I always thought they wouldn't look cute on me. So I don't know if it's gonna happen this year. But that's one of the things that I want. And I thought these were so cute. Like they're cream. They go with everything. It's definitely not white. It's like a like a beige cream type of, type of color. And I thought that they were so cute. Now these, I have always wanted these kinds of boots. Like that V-shaped, like I just like how it looks. It looks very chic. I'm trying to find the word, it's not flirty. It looks like, kind of like chic and like sexy. It's kind of like when, I don't, that's not the word I'm trying to look for. I don't, I can't, I can't find the word. I've always wanted some boots like that and I always said the day I'm, get, I'm getting them, I'm gonna be using them all the time. These are Steve Madden and they're $134. I saw these like for 40 bucks in Target the other day and I didn't get them and then I went the next week after I came across them and they were not there and I was so upset. I literally went with my husband. I was like, just get them for me and I'll wrap them. <laughs> I'll open them for Christmas. No. And I don't want to buy these because these are so expensive. 134 baller ballers. Yeah, dollars for those freaking boots damn ah, they just look so cute every year i get myself boots like every single year i get more and more boots and my boot collection grows even more and more this year i got myself one pair of boots and my sister had them first and then i saw her rocking them she rocked them for thanksgiving i'm post i'm posting a picture here she looks so cute and i was like i want those boots now <laughs> and we went back she got them at forever 21 we went back and we got them they still had them my size so these are kind of like stocking stuffers these are like makeup more like skincare i would have want this would have want this for a stocking stuffer i don't know if my husband got it that stocking stuffer looks pretty full <laughs> to me but this is the rose and the fresh rose and hyaluronic acid deep hydration toner i've heard amazing things from this toner i've heard that it literally like balances your skin tone and your um like your dark areas like your skin tone even better like it kind of balances it out i sometimes had like dark spots like around my face i used to have it when i was younger now i don't have it sorry phrase that again toner helped out a lot to balance it out all out not have dark spots anymore and i really like fell off of the whole toner type of skincare like added to my routine i don't add it anymore to my routine and i really want to add it back so i really want that one but that one's from sephora and if you know sephora is very expensive so this one is 45 dollars. i thought it was really good for like the price of sorry i have something on my eye for like the price of the bottle it's a 8.4 ounces of bottle and i really would like it for stocking stuffers oh my god i got something on my eye next thing is the revlon one step hair dryer and volume volumizer airbrush i told my husband i was like this year this is my main gift 
this is what I want. It's 60 bucks in Ulta right now. And I told my husband, I was like, I really want this airbrush. Like, stopped doing my own hair, like straightening it because it got longer. You guys know my hair is super long right now. I cannot find myself to spend an hour and a half because that's what I spend in the bathroom doing my hair and i've heard amazing things from this hairbrush and i really want it so bad it says it literally kills like you get a, your hair done in 30 minutes i'm like i want that shit <laughs> and then another stocking stuffer it's a perfume now this one is a very expensive perfume but it it smells divine it's the carolina herrera good girl Oud perfume perfume so it smells exquisite fantastic breathtaking it smells amazing it's 121 dollars that's from the medium size i think that's the best one i would spend <laughs> and then the second option i gave him is the one that i have as like a sample like bottle and it smells amazing even my husband he's every time i wear it, he's like Ooh, you smell divine darling and it's the lancome la vie em i'm gonna butcher this la vie et belle ou de parfum my mom actually calls <laughs> she calls it me if she sees this video she's gonna kill me she says lancome la vida bella <laughs> that's how she calls it she's like let's just call it like that i'm not gonna call it what it's actually called but i've that perfume smells amazing it's definitely more of like a more mature adult type of perfume i wouldn't use it if i was a teenager more like this age like i'm gonna be 25 next year which i'm shocked next for stocking stuffers i thought that this was so cute i've heard amazing things about like rollers and stuff to like depuff your face listen after people saw how puffy my face was in that weekend video that my parents surprised me with me people talk some nasty shit on my instagram about how puffy my face was and i was i low-key even like felt this is in English. Como que me dio complejo. Like I was like, oh my god, I did not know my face would is actually that puffy in the mornings, and it is. I've been trying to find a cute, a nice roller where I can depuff my face because it's given me complejo. But no, it's all jokes aside. I really do not care, and I only saw it because I thought it was cute and it would be really cute for my skincare collection. I did not saw it because of my puffy face. I actually took a picture of this beginning of November before my parents were here and before you guys even acknowledged my puffy face the next thing i thought this was so cool this was five bucks it was in five below and it's a racing wheel nintendo switch controller i have a nintendo switch and i have mario kart and i've always loki wanted to play with the actual steering wheel because that's how we used to play it when we were younger when i was like a child we would get like the wheel my my grandpito used to have it the og mario kart he used to have it the wheel and i would always play it and i was like that would be so such a cool thing to like play you know whenever we have friends and family here i just took a picture and i told him that would be a good stocking stuffer but i really don't think that's gonna fit in there and then something else that i saw for a stocking stuffer as well it was on the elf page and it was a um set of like lip liners and like a lip kit it had like four lip liners and a lip gloss from elf i've never tried their lip liners but i've heard amazing things from a few blue beauty bloggers another main gift that i wanted was this cooking set i have the pink set and it's literally the same brand as this one that pink set it's amazing it has no tiene ni una freaking marca like todo se sale so easily like it's definitely non-stick like nothing sticks to that pan every time i'm gonna fregar siempre que voy a fregar it's always so easy to clean those pans told myself i was like either i get it from me to me for christmas or he gets it for me so far i don't know if he's gotten it for me don't think so but that would be a really good gift for birthday too i'm not really in a rush because my mom got me like two cooking pans when we were here and we would go shopping and i would be like oh this is cute oh this is cute and she'll be like i'll buy it for you i'll buy it for you she wanted to buy me everything i felt so bad i was like no i can buy it <laughs> i you guys know i love reading books tell me why i've never written a christmas book i'm such a christmas person and i did not ever think to have 
come across any Christmas story type of book. And I love me some nice Christmas rom-com type of movies. And I came across this one from a blogger, a YouTuber that I was seeing that she's doing Vlogmas and she bought a whole bunch of Christmas books and this was one of them that it was so cute. It's called A Cross Country Christmas. And I thought it was really cute either for like stocking stuffers, stocking up on the stocking stuffers, or like a cute simple gift. Type of thing i might get it for myself if not i think my husband's gonna get it because i sent him the screenshot like last week and i saw like an amazon recent order this water bottle i want to up my water bottle game i have a huge water bottle but i want to get something bigger and something that will challenge me more to hydrate and drink more water water is key you need water in your life every single day so i thought that was really really good thing i definitely went on a budget this year for christmas i think i told him not to go all out because i wasn't going all out i literally bought him like knickknacks of like tj maxx marshall's things i saw for him and i think this year his main gift which i cannot talk about a lot because i don't know if he's gonna see this video but i'm more like mentally i got him like men type of products and no it's not a vibrator <laughs> This is another gift and this is a very interesting gift that I last minute was like I'm gonna get this This is this will be very genius type of thing The reason why we are getting it is because a few weeks ago before my parents were here We heard we, someone was banging on our door and our friends and family member There's one specific person you know who you are that he likes to come to my every time he comes to our house or he's like in front of like in our neighbor's house he stops by knocks the door he obviously lets my husband know that he's here just in case we freak out because we know we very rarely have visitors so and then we open and then he comes in and says hi and then he leaves this time someone knocked so bad on the door like banged our door and then we went my husband was in the bathroom and he heard it from the bathroom because when you and are thinking about it you don't hear anything every Everything's isolated in there and he even heard it that's how hard the bang was i was sitting in the bed and i was like i freaked out i just got up and i was like i'm not opening the door he's showering i'll just wait till he's out and if they keep hang like banging the door i'll just go they banged it again and then he came out and he was like who's in the in, in the house is there someone here and i was like there's someone definitely banging the door <laughs> my husband he took a knife and he opened the door and there was nobody there and i was like that's so weird like our friend the one that always does that he's always in the front he never leaves or scram so i was like well maybe it was him and maybe he thought maybe he left because he's got tired of waiting i guess and the day of thanksgiving we asked him and it was not him everyone was like no it was not us so i kind of freaked out and i was like okay I definitely need cameras. There's no cameras in outside of my house and i was like i'm gonna pull the plunge i'm gonna get ourselves some cameras and this one's they're really cool because they have they have motion detection they have two-way audio i can speak through the mic like through the actual microphone and they can hear me and they have day and night video like hd it looks hd in the night as well so i can see clearly at night the next thing i would actually want is something i've been seeing this everywhere in instagram and i thought it was the cutest glasses now these i am probably gonna order for myself like just to have them in my house i want like two or at least just one that i could probably use and if i like more i'll just grow my collection e and i buy them like different kind of designs because they've got so many they got smiley faces rainbows christmasy ones that there were ones that said like follow la 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 the cutest thing ever and i saw some in target they were not like ese estilo but they were like wine type of glasses I was so close to getting those. I just thought they were so cute. But I thought this was so cute. And since I'm such an iced coffee lover, I've been into it. I have taken a break though. Since I've been so into this coffee, I was like, I would really want to have my coffees in here. <laughs> so I just literally just got the cup. I didn't get the straw because I want to already have a straw. And then I definitely took screenshots of a whole bunch of cases for my new iphone this is the only one i have and it's because i literally like scrammed to target and i was like i need a case for this phone because i cannot use it without the i like without the case yeah i really want cuter ones and i also want a, like a clear one where i could actually rock the silver and then i do want to get another cute charm that was a thing and i think that's still a thing and i thought it was so cute i used to use it and put it on my wrist it was something that i would use constantly like that chain was very useful and handy for me and i thought this one was so cute and it's like it's cute and like colorful last but certainly not less this is a gift that I last minute was like, I really want this. 
You guys are gonna hate me for this. I think next year, <laughs> I don't think this is for sure for Christmas. I don't think so. But I think next year, beginning of the year, I'm gonna potentially sell my coffee machine i actually it's actually up on sale right now i'm selling it right now because i think i'm going to see if i can experience more with nespresso i'm gonna go to that brand and i'm gonna buy myself an espresso and the reason why is because i have been so into coffee that i've seen amazing pictures online of people of their actual like coffee without the creamer like their black coffee looking cute like frothy and it looks colorful they don't even add milk and it has like a like if it if you added milk and i really want to try it i feel like i would love their coffee way more than what i love with the keurig i just feel like i would love it more and so i came across this one which is i think the most popular one it's way smaller than that one and i think that i can make that there a coffee corner which would be really really cute this is the nespresso breville virtual coffee and espresso machine with arrochino in chrome wow that's a lot a handful and it comes with the actual like frother and if you guys can see the black coffee there it has like, if i actually added milk the only thing is that i don't know if it's going to be a mission for me to find the Nespresso cup. Anyways, that's my last one guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video Sorry that this year I did not make a holiday gift guide. I know every year I make one I did not make one this year and you guys will know why in the next video But I was mainly gonna do it on my podcast make a podcast episode about holiday gift guides I even wrote it down in my planner and everything I made a list but unfortunately I am not going to be continuing with my podcast i'm going to take a break a very long break i think it's taking a lot of my time out of my like my free time and i do want to dedicate more of my free time making videos for you guys and dedicating my full full like free time with just youtube videos and instagram and you know i've been really into reels and instagram pictures and uploading and all that stuff and i stopped doing it because i was so busy with podcasts as well and it took a lot of my time that is pretty much it for this what i want for christmas video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you guys have an amazing christmas time and remember the holidays are not about gift giving it's not about just presents it's also it's about jesus being born and it's a very special time of the year it was when jesus was born and celebrating jesus birthday and spending time with friends and family so i just hope that you guys remember that and yeah thank you guys for this amazing year i think that this year was a very special special year like looking back to it i think i want to do a sit down video of just the things i've accomplished this year and maybe like a q a like a yearly q a i think i do that every like beginning of the year so next year we will definitely be doing a yearly q a but this year was a special year because i reached 1k on my youtube channel and it's something that it took me four years i think i've been doing i've been doing youtube for five years and a half almost six years five years i've been do no six years i've been doing youtube for six years years now reach 10k on instagram and we're about to reach 20k i'm about to reach 19k which is amazing i just cannot wait to just have many many more people it low-key gets me very nervous i have 2.16 thousand followers subscribers over here so please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to join this amazing family but yeah once again i'm so thankful for it I, I cannot believe 2,000 people watch my videos now that I think about it. So, okay, gets me shy. But I'm just glad. I'm glad that I do this and that I love doing it as a hobby. And I cannot wait to do this as one day that I'll be able to do this as a full-time job. Because I do see myself doing this as a full-time job like one day. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn that post notification bell on so you guys can be notified every time I post a video. Don't forget to also follow me on all of my socials. Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Snapchat. Snapchat, everything and without that further ado i will see you guys on my next video goodbye bye loves Bye.